Good morning, friendlies. We are at the Grand Floridian Cafe for breakfast. We're finishing up and then we're heading to Hollywood Studios. We already have our individual lighting lanes for Rise of the Resistance. And we have a Disney Plus reservation for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Um, yeah, we're gonna probably just do like a half day in the park. We have lunch reservation at Hollywood Brown Derby at one something. And then we're gonna try and get all the new stuff that we haven't done since the last time we've been here done today. So we'll see you in a little bit. Hollywood Studios. We have our lightning lane for Runaway Railway. About 20 minutes. So we're going to start our day. I've been waiting to ride this ride for like three years. Four years, three years. Pretty excited, guys. Welcome to the cause. May the force be with us. Commander Paul Dameron. No, well this year is her 12th time being 29. So that's really exciting for her. Um, yeah, we have a wonderful view of the Magic Kingdom, which you can see the castle right over my shoulder. And we're going to Epcot. It's our last full day of Disney. I'm gonna go to Disney Springs tomorrow. Parish Ellie and I just did Soren, and Mom and I are hanging out while they could do Frozen, and I don't know what we're going to do after that. I'm really hot and sweaty. This is not all sweat because I just spritz myself with the um, Ellie's like a little water bottle thing. Anyway, I'll keep you apprised.
Going through open house. I'm Dr. Michael Channing, Chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello. On your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, come on, go do! Absolutely not. Uh, you know all about the senses. There's sight, sound, <laughs> smell, <laughs> touch. Yeah. We're back from Epcot. This is our last night. Um, I don't feel like I vlog, I vlog very much on this trip and I'm starting to realize that maybe I'm not a vacation vlogger. Um, I just, I get too caught up in the moment. It's like becomes a hassle to like figure out where my phone or my camera is until I put it back and to take it out and put it back and take it out. Um, I'm old. I'm going to be 47 in August. I'm completely out of shape. I have a whole bunch of things that I'm thinking about sharing in a future un Disney and travel related vlog um, to that effect. And I just don't know if this is for me. I like the idea of it a lot, um, but the execution I'm not real great about. So quick rundown on a couple of things. We did go on Soren. What, how the day started, we went to, um, Chef Mickey's. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this whole series, I did get a scooter cause I'd hurt my knee. My knee has been feeling pretty good. Um, I'm just massively out of shape on top of everything. So like that's, it's really been a blessing. Parrish has been able to use it a few times when her feet have been hurting and I've walked my knee, my knee feels pretty good today. It did until the end of the day. But um, we started the day at Chef Mickey's and I turned my scooter on to go and like it hadn't charged for the second day in a row. So Parrish was like, just charge it there at the con Contemporary. I'm like, okay. Took the charger, plugged it in, in an out of the way place. It was fine. Ate breakfast, went to go get it and it hadn't charged at all. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to take it back to the hotel because it was already a half, like there was like half charge left. And, um, and, um, then I ended up going to Epcot to meet the family. They did the seas with Nemo and I met them at the land. I walked, um, which was fine except the heat and my back and old age. So Parrish, Ellie and I did Soren, and we were in the first row for the first time for ever. I don't think we've ever been in the first row. And that was wonderful. It was really cool to not see feet dangling in, in front of your face. Um, then they had a lightning lane for Frozen, so they went and did that. And Mom and I walked through the World so Showcase to um, France. We were going to do Ratatouille. We were just kind of done. So we had this great idea. Mom decided to go back to the hotel. that We were going to take the Skyliner to Hollywood Studios and then bring take the bus back to <laughs> the Grand Floridian. Right as we're getting there, the Skyliner shuts down. So we didn't get to do that. But we um, were going to walk back to the monorail. We'd already canceled all our dining reservations for the day because we didn't want to do any of them. Um, but we ended up getting a last minute reservation at Rose and Crown. The food was actually really good. I was surprised. I mean, I don't know why. Um, but it was good. I'm still really full. We started to head back to the monorail, did Figment, and then got on the monorail and came back. Parrish took Ellie to the pool just now. Something crazy is that one of Ellie's friends from school is actually here at the Grand Floridian staying in our same building right now. We just, and she just got here today, I think. She's here for a wedding or something. So um, Ellie might run into her and meet up with her. I don't know. But tomorrow we are going to Disney Springs and we check out and we go to Cabana Bay at Universal. And, um, but we won't actually go to the parks until Monday. I have to think about what it is. And today's Parrish's birthday. So we did presents this morning and um, mom's birthday is on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. And we will be in, we'll be heading to St. Augustine that day from um, Cape Canaveral. So anyway, not sure we're going to do anything else tonight. Probably not going to eat dinner. Um, I'm just exhausted and sweaty and I really need to take a shower. I feel disgusting. And I probably need to think about packing up and I just don't know that I can think about that yet. So 
we do have a brunch reservation um i think at 11 30 so it'll be right after checkout time and we'll head to disney springs for the first time this trip and um that's all all right thank you for watching this vlog please like and subscribe um and at some point i'll be talking about the future what i'm going to be doing with this channel if anything so maybe stick around for that and see what that's going to be about hmm, i don't know all right bye friendlies